Welcome everyone to a new gameplay series. We'll be playing Rise of Industry. This is a very nice management tycoon game, very easy to get into, very approachable, very reminiscent, for me at least, of Industry Giant. So not quite like Transport Tycoon Deluxe, or you know, its most modern incarnation is Open TTD, which everyone has, well, probably a lot of people have played. Uh, anyway, um, Industry Giant, which is a great game itself, so this is the, I think this is kind of like the modern Industry Giant. Mostly it's about production chain management, um, but there is some, you know, I mean, it definitely can be a challenge to get your uh, transport network set up as well. We'll be using these settings. I'll come back with a seed other than this one. Um, I, I want to experiment with one that I like, but I, I don't want to do that on camera. We're basically playing with all the defaults. The only thing that you might want to note is that I'm playing with normal AI players. I don't know if that's a default or not. And I'm also turning off the assistant, but that's not a big deal. It's like the tutorial. I do recommend it for people who are new to the game. But then the game is also pretty easy to pick up, so you may not need it. Okay, this looks like a good seed for us. Let's go ahead and see. It's going to be Tortuga LP. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Tortuga LP is good enough. Now, Boise is probably going to be a place we end up picking. Let's just do a quick overview of the map. I'm going to hit tab a couple of times to bring up the resources. This is the best way to view the map, I find. So Boise has iron and coal and more iron way the heck over there. If you look closely, you'll see a white line here that does not exist on the other side of the bank. And that just delineates the end of um, Boise's territory. So we see that their territory has this big, it's quite a large territory. And then you have Oasis's territory, has some gas, copper, oil, oil. Oil is actually very good in the very beginning of the game. I mean, it's actually good <laughs> at multiple stages of the game. Oil, gas, copper over here, that's also good. You can make um, you know, plastic from that. So Menorca might be a good place for us to expand if the AI doesn't take it outright, but they might. There's a lot of good resources there. I mean, it's even, you could make a case for us to start somewhere other than Oasis. I mean, Boise. Uh, the thing is, I almost always start in the bigger city. Boise is the bigger city. It has the three places. Everywhere is going to have a farmer's market and a hardware store, but Boise has a grocery store. That kind of lends itself for us maybe going towards the pre-made dinner for our prototype if we want to end the game that way. Of course, I, I am leaving it out that if we buy out both AIs, we also win the, win the game that way, which is also acceptable, I think. Um, let's put our HQ here way the heck over there and we'll find out where the AI has gone. It looks like Oasis has been taken by Door Enterprises. Not a bad call in my opinion. That's some pretty lucrative stuff. Menorca has has or has not been. Nope, Power Core has put their HQ in Carter Lake, which is means that I am well boxed in. So uh, Oasis is taken and Menorca is not, but the only way to Menorca is through Carter Lake and Carter Lake is taken. Uh, the only thing we could do maybe is try to, and this is actually unusual, I've never seen this, that Holt Summit and at Motluck are both cut off, completely cut off. In fact, uh, Motluck doesn't even have a road system that goes to the, the state boundary. So, okay, so that's the lay of the land. Um, Boise has a grocery store and that's that's where we're going to start focusing on. So, we, I, I mean, I already looked at this and I already know uh, in direct kind of what direction we want to go. In fact, I want to open it this way so I can bring up all three at the same time. Uh, so what are the, what are our initial technologies and priorities going to be to try to start making some money? Um, if we look at the farmer's market, the sugar makes a lot of money. This would be a good cash crop in the very beginning. Uh, oranges make the second most amount of money. And then after that, maybe apples, um, maybe hops. And then the next thing we want to look at is grocery store. And since I don't, the things that I see here are orange juice and apples, which lends us to pushing towards oranges and apples right away. Eventually we can do dough if we go from grain or wheat, whatever it is. Um, then we go to flour. Sorry, that's yeast. No, flour. So we can't sell the flour. We'll just have to go from flour which, yeah, from wheat to flour and flour right to dough without selling the flour itself. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, we can do apple smoothies and orange juice. And eventually later down the line, we can get dough to make quite a lot of money. That's 55K. The other ones are 
you know, pretty lucrative still, but only 36k. So you can see that because Doe is like a tier three item, uh, you know, it's the raw one would be Apple. I mean, I, technically the raw ones are <laughs> like these, the, the oil, the coal, and we do have a coal location kind of pretty far away, but I think it might still, we, with a warehouse nearby, we might be able to get some benefit out of it. I'll probably do that. Um, okay, so let's start going. Uh, now, the world map is nice to look at isometrically, perhaps, but uh, I have to tell you, I, I'm a far bigger fan of this F8 top-down perspective. You can get very good and just hit G to get that grid on. Uh, that's that's the stuff for me. That's the best way of looking at it. Now, just for a second, I'll do this because we're going to start getting our technology going and figuring out where, in general, we want to build. Uh, like I said, I think that the best ones, we kind of already looked at this, is to go oranges and probably, so we have three free unlocks. This is the difference between career and uh, the free play sandbox mode. Sandbox, you have every technology unlocked right away. You can just build whatever you want. You still have the same monetary requirements. It's just that you can start building the end game items right away if that's how you want to play it. Uh, but in this case, we have to unlock techs and that costs money. I think it's a nice progression system. Um, so you start with the low, the low hanging fruits, the early production stages stuff, and then you move on as you get I mean, as you spend more time, basically, you make more money. Uh, but I want orange juice to start right away as well, because uh, we have these are th free unlocks and unlocks on tier one, which is what we've done for orange, oranges, you know, orange fields. Uh, those are cheaper. You can see this costs 200K, but the orange juice costs 400K. So we kind of do want to prioritize uh, tier two items. And the other thing that you really, really want to do if you're going to do any kind of crops is the irrigation tower. It's so good. I just feel like this is a mandatory unlock with your initial three. So basically, I only consider two techs as uh, free to unlock. Then the next question is like, well, where are we going to be going from there? And I think that um, going into apples, I mean, it's, it's the drinks, right? Going into apples and then apple smoothies is probably the way we'll go. We'll do apples just to start. Uh, there's other things we want to start get um, getting as well, like uh, increasing uh, the number of land harvesters is going to be fantastic, so we'll want to do that. Uh, we'll also want to increase the number of orchards since both oranges and apples come from orchards. So getting the extra two fields is just, it's just high, it's a huge increase to your efficiency since you pay the sub, same upkeep, but you have, you know, like 67% more production, which is great. This is a lot for our poor research queue to handle already so we'll let it stand at that then the first thing I think is we'll go over to our coal and this is gonna be uh, like a pathetic little effort but it should be cash positive and in the long term we're gonna appreciate that I don't know how much we'll appreciate it but uh, so I see we have one over there we can do something like this now just to note this is important gameplay mechanic the place where I'm rotating over is the tile that this building belongs to for purposes of calculating distance. It's also, you know, next to the entrance. I mean, it's always uh, the entrance um, from the road as well. So that's that's the center. And I want to click that. I want to make sure that I'm capturing all the coal. And I want to keep this as far to the left as possible since that's the, the direction where the uh, hardware store is. So we're just trying to minimize the distance. Now, technically what I'm going to be doing is not, this is not going to go to the hardware store directly. We'll click it here. And we'll just pick up any three of these. It doesn't matter which ones. And we have the two left over. That's when we expand our land harvesters from three to five. Get that juicy extra efficiency. Uh, but the next thing we're going to want to do is put down a warehouse. So let's see. I want this. Probably I want it. I want it in on this side and out on the other side. So let's um, do the reversed one. I want it in here and out there. That's perfect. Um, I don't know if I want it to be in directly from there, but I could do it that way, sure. And then out will be a road. Kind of what I want to do actually is build this. Okay, so if we're building it right here, that would actually be okay. Technically, I guess what I want to do is put this right here. That's the place where I'd love to build it. Yeah, we can do that. Um... Okay, I'm just going to build right there. You're going to see the method to my madness in a second. So we only have dirt rows to work with, but we're going to do connection here. And this is actually going to connect all the way over to there. That's a long road, and we'll be able to see how many tiles that is in a second. I like to give at least one buffer from this, so my um, loop is going to look something more like that. 
uh, with one buffer. And actually, in the end, we're going to do a lot of one-way risk stuff. So we'll, I mean, I, in the very long game, we'll have to, oh, an inner ring, which is one way, and an outer ring, which is the other way, with bridges to allow connections and all that. It's pretty fancy, but um, in the beginning, at least, this is going to be sufficient, and we'll pick, we'll pick one direction. In this case, probably this direction will be our one-way loop. Um, and we'll have a, an outer loop. We'll have some connection, which will go the other way if we need it. But for now, this is actually going to be sufficient. We won't need to use any one-way stuff for just this coal mine. Now, coal mine's pretty simple. We're just going to set it up to deposit to the warehouse. The warehouse is more efficient. Why? Well, um, it carries two goods instead of one. So this distance is 12 tiles. That's 370. Fair enough. But the warehouse is going to take these raw goods, and it's going to transport them over to the hardware store. You notice that the hardware store lights up because it's an inappropriate good for the coal that I've selected. Um, so we do that and we see that it's 85 tiles and wow, 1.63K. Mind you, we're only making like, I think it was 8.5K on this. No, it's even less. It's 7.7K on this. So it's really not that much money, but, but importantly, so you might think, okay, 7.7, 1.7, if we round, that's, uh, you know, we're down to like 6K. We only make 6K per and that's, you know, without having paid the, what was it, the original 370. So we're out another 0.4. Uh, we're, we're really looking at nothing here, right? It's like 5.6. Is that what we're down to? Not quite, because we divide this by two. We have two goods which are going, so essentially this cost is now 0.8. So that's why we want to make the majority of the distance to travel should be traveled with the hardware, I mean the warehouse um, trucks which carry two goods because they're more efficient. That's why we want to use them. So 0.8... 0.4, we're looking at 1.2 total cut of, uh, and that's not the total because we have monthly, I'm just going to one, I may not go into this every time, but at least to do it for once we see all the math that's involved. Uh, so yeah, we're down, what did I say? 1.2 off of 7.7, .7, so we'll call that 6.5. That means we have 6.5 profit after the delivery fees. 6.5 and we're making three of these per 15 days, I believe. Yep, three for 15 days. So we'll call that six for every 30 days. We'll try to do things in terms of months. So um, six for every 30 days means that six times, <laughs> I already forgot that number. <laughs> what was it? Uh, 6.5? Six times 6.5, I mean, we'll just we'll call that 38K. So 38K is our profit more or less. And then we, we, we're gonna have to do on top of that is take out the, um, the maintenance which is going to be 18, 18, okay, so we're going to just drop that down to like 20K. We're making 20K a month, and then we also have to subtract out one final thing, which is the upkeep for this building, and I think it's 4K or maybe a little bit less than that. Um, so that means we're going to be making 16K a month on this, which is pennies. It's almost not worth doing, but it's a little bit. It's something to have positive income, I guess. Maybe it's not even worth doing because a lot of this, I mean, we spent 900,000 to make uh, to, you know, 18K a month. How long is that going to take to pay off? Quite a while. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to do the math. 40 months? That's quite a long time. Uh, okay, but that's still fine. This is positive and we'll probably be around for 40 months. In fact, the bigger thing is when we get the new research uh, to upgrade from 3 to 5, then this thing is going to be paying itself a, a lot faster. And uh, yeah, I, and the price of this is actually a little bit low. It will, it can fluctuate over time. 130%, you can see that a lot of them are different than 130, 130. I mean, 120 is actually really low down there, but 130 is not that high. Uh, I don't know if it will go up, that'd be great, but uh, even at this, we'll be making a profit. Okay, so next thing is um, a little more complicated. That's being getting up, getting our uh, oranges set up. So the way I like to do this is not, I, I'm not optimal about things. I would love to be, and this game makes it very easy to do things, op well, not easy. It makes it simple to do things op optimally, but it requires a ton of planning and theory crafting and all that, which I haven't done yet. But you can still start getting going with something which is semi semi efficient. What we're going to be doing is have a bunch have a bunch of uh, orchards pouring into uh, a local warehouse, which will then same way deposit those to the actual town. Also later deposit them to our factory lines. So the first thing we want to actually do before we do that is get set up our water siphons because. Each of these, um, as we know from the recipes, we go to apples. Apples are the same as oranges, so we can just use this. I don't. I, I typed apple first. I don't know why. Uh, so that you can see, one water every 30 days gives us two apples. But we're going to have three fields, so we need three water every 30 days per orchard. 
now one water siphon siphon produces same way the coal um, and same with all these raw resources will produce one resource every 15 days so it'll give us six water every 30 days which means that one water siphon can provide enough water for two orchards or two of any type of farm if all of them are basic and haven't been upgraded from three to five and you know it works the same way when they're all upgraded from three to five they all once again match in this one to two ratio so we need one water siphon for two fields and i'm going to want probably four fields so we can look over what's the oranges demand yeah they want 10 for 15 days which means they want 20 for every 30 days which means that if i'm producing six oranges per 30 days i need three to just under satisfy this and four to slightly over satisfy it um i want four because eventually we're going to be going to orange juice so we don't mind a little bit of excess so let's try to get four orange orchards get get those going uh now that means that i need two water so first thing we're going to want to do is set up our irrigation tower this is so critical it just makes everything so much easier and what I'm going to do is set this one, two, three. I'm looking on the left hands here. How many, what's the distance away from the road? I'm not going to use the main roads. We'd rather use one way roads in general. And you can't replace the general roads, the existing structure with one ways. I'd rather build like a one way next to it and another one way going the other direction. It's much better to have like highways like that. One, two, three, four, five, six is probably good. Um, and then we just want this, I don't know, somewhere where it's kind of close to town, but um, you can see I'm. I'm losing it. One, two, three, four. Now we're at five, so let's go to six. And maybe move this down a fair amount. That looks good to me. Let's park it there. Oh my god. And let me, and very, the one thing that's wonderful about this game is that you can undo very easily. So I'll, I'll undo, and it gives us all our money back. In fact, you can bulldoze as well, and it'll just give us the full 150 refund. But you can also just use the undo button, and it'll undo it very nicely. Same difference. Let's go back and place that. And I want to replace it so it's up, facing up. The important thing. And we're one, two, three, four, five, six. We're good there. I think we're good. I don't know if this is exactly where it was before, but you know, good enough. Okay, so now we're going to hold this up and we're going to pin it because this is critical to our planning from here on in. And now we're going to start trying to provide some water for it. Okay, so uh, I don't always get this exactly right. I don't have, I don't remember exactly how it is, so we might muck this up. But basically, we're going to want some water places you know places we can collect water uh we'll take um okay so let's see one two three four five six seven eight this is the middle tile and i guess that means this is seven so we can do one two three four five six seven eight let go i was holding that down go to f8 and we're now raising and lowering so what i want to do is lower by one 225,000. that's what i expect to pay and boom that's done so now let's just mirror that on the other side. Uh, if I did this right, but I might not have. Well, let's put a water siphon in first, make sure I didn't get this wrong. Uh, same thing as before, we need to make sure that the hex, the sorry, the tile that my cursor is in, adjacent to where the road is gonna connect, this is the one that has to be within the range of the water warehouse. So this is the, we wanna be two tile, three tiles away from the water, which gives us two tiles for the collection thing and then the road path. So that's where we wanna be. We can be right here and do what we want. So that's where I want to do it. And we'll start putting these down. One, two, three. Notice that I have room for exactly one, two more. So yeah, we're future planning for eventually having five total water things. And then on the other side, we'll do the same thing. And this is perfect. So we can go here, we can go down here and we're still within the, the collection range. Go boom, and then uh, one, two, and three. I did not, I mucked that up. How did I do that? I don't know, it's probably because uh, I'm recording and you always do things wrong when you're recording. One, two, and three, that's a lot better. Go to roads, connect all those together. All right, so now we have two water producing facilities. That's gonna be enough for our first four orchards. Eventually we're gonna want another one of those and I can kind of like future proof this by doing the collection. I mean, notice that because I rotate, like when I want this one, it has to be, that's the limit. But now when I want it up like this, I can actually go up here. So I could technically go down here, but we're gonna have another one over here and that's really gonna be the limit. So we want one, two, three, one, two, three, four, then one, two for the water. So we're probably gonna end up being like perfectly right here. Is that gonna be, no, sorry. Then one, two, three. So this is where we're, our other guy should be. Let's see if that works out. Uh, so we want the water 
right here, I think. And that means one, two, road, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, so that is exactly where I want it. Let's just do it now. I mean, we can put the water down so I just don't forget later. You've already seen the method to my madness, haven't you? Okay, so we want the, this is one, two, and then right here is where we're going to want it. I did not do that right. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then drop that by one. You cannot, unfortunately, you cannot do undo terraforming. Let's hope to God I got that right. Oh, it looks perfect. And then this will all work. It looks perfect. Okay, good. So now I'm going to undo all that, but our water is set up, ready to go when we want to add our next one. Very nice. So that's going to give us um, four total waters, and we might need more than that even, but for now, that suffices. And honestly, the first thing we want to do before we even build our orchards is let time advance. Because now we want these water siphons to actually start filling up with water. So advance we will. And then we can kind of see also what the AI is going to do with their stuff. So door enterprises hasn't done anything yet. We'll go back to this mode. It's probably a little bit more easy on the eyes. They haven't set up anything yet. I love that Menorca is available though because they have a lot of good stuff. We do border them. We just have to build a road or a train even. Ooh, exciting. Uh, over to them. But yeah, they have a lot of stuff. Oil, copper, gas. Co copper, oil, gas. Oh my gosh. They have so many Reese's in Menorca. We will, you know, no matter what, we can't miss out on that. Uh, neither person has built anything yet. They're too intimidated by my fantastic designs here. I just make sure our water is coming in, yeah, so we can go up to 3x even. And also our apples are being, uh, we're getting some research there. So we took about a quarter of our initial f money to do this, and obviously we don't have much in the way of money making ability in the exact state that we are. We're going to need a lot of orchards. Okay, those cars indicate to us that the water is arriving, but I actually want 30 days of water. Um, only one tick of this is only enough for um, one orchard. So I'm gonna let them keep going and do yet another. Why am I waiting, by the way? Because if you put down the orchards, they're gonna end up paying monthly maintenance anyway. So we're super min-maxing in kind of a way which is not that important, by the way. Don't worry about it if you don't do this, but we're just trying to postpone the payment of one monthly cycle of maintenance, of building upkeep, uh, because we couldn't use the buildings until all that water's in it anyway. Or technically, you could have put two down after the first 15, and then another one after that. And actually, I'm going to want to do this in a staggered manner anyway, not to overload my um, input. And I don't have a very good traffic flow system, so we're probably going to, you know, just troubleshoot that together. People in the comments will probably have much better ideas than I have. I've looked at some people's ideas, and, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff that people have put together. All right, so what are we going to be doing for this? We are going to be using, I think, this, maybe. So that's means we're going to do something like that. Let me just check that that is exactly right. It is. So we'll do something like this for our plots. Now, I don't know if I did that in the right spot. We did not do it in the right spot. So I know that this one is going to want to go here. I know that for a fact. So let's just undo everything else. And try that again. Uh, I'm just getting it right at the edge of the collection water collections facility. And actually, it's one more over, isn't it? So these are four by five. So we have five on the left-hand side. Looks good to me. And that is the last hex, last tile, I should say. Yep, that's the last one that could be collected. So, boom. Now we'll do one, two, and then we'll just, you know, I'm saving for future. Uh, those will be oranges. Good, and then we'll take another one of those and put it right here. One, two, and then weird three. And that's our first uh, row of oranges. Uh, where are these gonna go? Actually, we're a, probably a little snuggled up, I would say a little bit too close to the city. Good thing this is not where our industry is gonna go. We'll shoot off our injury, industry over to the right, uh, but this is gonna need a collection. And what we're gonna do is turn this one off just to stagger a little bit the um, release of trucks, which can be a problem. But these are going to connect like this, and the way I envision it, at least, is going to a warehouse that should be over here. 
And the way I want this warehouse to work is I would like for it, actually probably like this, honestly, um, I would like for this one to be done in such a way where coming out, this traffic will flow back like this way, but going in, they'll want to take advantage, I mean, going out from the right-hand side. So, I mean, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say here, but maybe just by showing it, that'll be sufficient. Yeah, well, okay, let me just quickly pause and shift everything down by one. All right, I, I might have mucked this up. I mean, I really, uh, well, you know, if I have some inefficiencies once we're making more money later, um, we'll go back and redo it. But I shifted these down by two, actually. And this gets me kind of what I want. I think it gets me what I want. I'm going to leave a little bit of room here and send this one up this way. But I'm going to have the return path. I think that this works, that the return path will be this way. Okay, so what's the strategy here? Hopefully it works. We'll see. Is that you go out over here, and we're right-hand um, drive. I mean, right-hand roads. So you go in, and then people coming out without impeding the other ones go this way and come back. Now, I think this works. So if you start here, you want to get to here. Let's count the just the left-right tiles you move because you're obviously moving the same vertical distance no matter what. So you go one, two, three tiles, and then you go one, two, three, four, five. So eight tiles you move. Otherwise, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Damn, we just <laughs> we just didn't make it quite enough of a incentive. I don't think it's incentivized enough that they necessarily will take this path. They may, but they may not. I don't know. We can always um, change this a little bit. Like I could probably build the road over here instead just to make sure that they do it. Uh, we'll see. If they don't do that, I can I can force thing, force my hand. The reason why we'd like a nice circle, I mean, it's not probably important at the very beginning, but it would be nice to have uh, like a circular route. And we can force that with one ways later, so I guess it's not critical to get it done now. Okay, next up, we want to get two more orchards, but again, we want to have this one start off. Let's just start moving this one on. He should get his water and start right away. Just trying to give a little bit of time for the uh, trucks from one to go and then come back while the other ones are doing their thing. And I don't have a good pattern for this, by the way. So until this becomes fully one way and I don't have one way roads yet on the logistics stuff, but let's get that up there. Um, so once this is one way, we'll force them to like rotate to the right, which means the trucks coming out will have to do something like this. And for right-hand drive, that seems perfect, yeah. So, But unfortunately, some of the trucks are going to be going out this way uh, because we'll have more orchards later on. I mean, five, like right here, <laughs> even. So this should be the identical thing. And did you start yours already? You did a little bit. Okay, good. So then you can probably get going. How, how much... Um, how much water do we have stored? None. Yeah, this is already kind of a problem. I don't know why we don't have any water stored yet. It's coming. So turn this guy off because there's no reason for him to be doing anything until there's enough water for him to do something. So we'll just let time tick away for a little bit and then we'll build our next orchard as well. Uh, these guys are gonna take their oranges and they're gonna supply the farmer's market at meeting demand. And we can see that their route is definitely to go that way. I'm still curious if they'll come back well, which way they're going to go back. Yeah, because either way it's going to inconvenience people coming in this way who are trying to go in. One-way stuff this is going to help a lot, but uh, we'll see. Like, how many do we have in there already? Did I actually tell them to deliver there? I didn't. Okay, well, that's that's mine. That's on me. <laughs> deliver everything there. And then we could just do a nice thing. We can shift, hold X. I mean, hit X, then hold shift, then left-click. And then we can just do left click and left click. And we've copied over the settings from this one to those. It's a nice little copy paste from the uh, the settings uh, trick that is very useful when you have especially a lot of things going on. Uh, we've actually finished apples already. And I'm not doing the apple smoothie stuff yet because we're gonna wanna get apples going. And we're gonna wanna get apples going actually fairly soon uh, because that's a different Thing that we can supply so we can get 10 oranges but we can also get five apples now that's 10 apples per thir you know per 30 days uh 10 apples means we're going to satisfy that with even only two buildings but you know for that we're going to need more water 
At least one more. I guess I might as well start building it up. There's no real harm. How much? What's the mountain? Yeah, so this only costs not even 10k of upkeep. They're pretty cheap. Let's get them going right away then. Okay. One, two, three. And connect those with road. That's good. I probably could also do the other one. We're going to need to be... Oh, we're right there. Do we need it? No, I don't think so. Not yet. Alright, good. Well, oh, there we go. We're making money now. So technically, have we made any money yet? Yes, technically we made 51k without my having seen it. Uh, so we're, look at that. We're we're making money. We sold 75k already this, uh, this month, so we're selling a lot more. This is now green, and it is going, and water is not stockpiled yet. Okay, well, sorry, I keep hitting escape, but this is pinned, so it won't go away. But that's my instinct. Ex escape just closes everything that's open. Except for the things that are pinned. Okay, now we have some water, but how close are we to needing that water? Pretty far away. Orchard 1 and Orchard 3 is not... They, they seem like too well aligned. I think it's this one and this one, but... 1, 2, 3, yeah. And we do have 3 water. Oh, now we have 8 water. Okay, so we're in good shape. Now we can actually do this. So do it. 1, 2, 3... Get the road all the way up. And I'm gonna want the road to go like this. There we go. So things are gonna get a bit congested when all these things pile up, but hopefully because we're doing things at, the, at a different time, it won't pile up too badly. <laughs> it may though, it may still. Lots of trucks are gonna be clogging the road. But let's just see the timing of this. That looks pretty good. We can always spread it out a little bit more if we have to just uh, to make sure that these guys aren't overloading each other. Yeah, that's some traffic, all right. But maybe not terrible? I would say it's not terrible. So it looks like we've been uh, we've managed to actually avoid uh, too much of a traffic jam. And let's see how we're doing now as far as money goes. I suspect that with four of them, we should actually be building up. One, we should be building up um, a number of oranges, but also we should be cash positive. And I see 124k, that's good. We only have to till the 30th. Yeah, we should be positive then. Yeah, there it is. 30 or 73k. That's actually very good and not too much traffic. So we finished the next R&D. We got our plus 10 gatherer storage. That's not really anything interesting. It's just a stepping stone to get more uh, land harvesters, get more harvesters for other things too. Although the land harvesters is the most important. Anyway, um, that's all I want to do for this episode. In the next one, we're going to jump right into getting apples up and running. And then get orange juice up and running too. Because this is the first video in the series, if you wouldn't mind pressing the like button or leaving a comment, that'd be great just to get more visibility on YouTube. And I won't ask for that in the following videos. Um, otherwise, it's great to have you guys tuning in. Thanks for watching and take care.